But another question you might ask is, you know, well, when we look at these passages in John chapter 4, and if, if works, righteousness and unrighteousness is a way to see the good, the new man and the old man, well, then you've got to ask the question, well, why can't works be an evidence of, of your salvation, right? Because if evidence is, is ev if works is evidence of the new man, couldn't works then be an evidence of salvation? Am I making sense, right? Because I'm saying, okay, works doesn't prove that, that, that you're saved, but if works shows that you have a new man, how then can, why then can't it act as evidence of salvation? Well, the reason, number one, the reason why I think it's bad is because you can have both, you're not going to really have assurance if you base it solely on your works because you can have both. Now, does, um, you know, does works prove that the new man is there? Well, yes, but because in Romans 4, a person can believe and not have works, somebody technically could be believe but left wondering, you know, how much works do I need to have before I'm confident the new man is there? You know, so th there's that uncertainty of, well, I, have, I might have works, but do I have enough to assure myself that the new man is there if works is an evidence of the new man and therefore could act as evidence of salvation? Well, possibly, but, but here's a thought. Um, Hebrews 11... We read here in verse 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Um, let me show you another verse in Romans 14. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So the thought I had is, okay, well, if the new man does righteousness, and let's say, you know, you want to be able to use those works to prove that the new man is there, but you, you still have to go through this one step. And I, I hope I'm, I, it's not really clear in my mind, so I hope I'm explaining it to you guys as clear as I believe it is in my mind. How do you even determine whether works are good works? Because what makes works true good works? Well, according to the Bible, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. You know, it, whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So you still have to determine whether your work, that work to be evidence of the new creature, is done in faith. So we're back to square one, right? We're back to the same problem. Well, how do I know whether I'm doing it in faith? Because I might be doing works, I might be in church, but I, is that the, the work? That is required to show me that the new man is there because the old man can sit in church the old man can read a book you know the old man can talk to somebody that they can't see um so are we doing it the good works that will show us that the new man is there well the way we determine the good works of the new man is because the good works are done in faith right so you know even if somebody says well you know isn't works evidence of the new creature well to determine whether those works are even good works we need to go back to our original question which is how do i know i believe because we have to determine whether or not we're doing these works in faith 